This is National 5 homework, expressions and formulae, thirds. First question we have to do is to simplify uh, two thirds that I have here. Okay, I've got root 147 minus 5 root 3. So usually when I simplify thirds down, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking for to multiply two numbers together to get 147, where one of them is a square number. Right, so, so within this question, what I can do is I can look at some of the clues that are in here, and the root 3 gives me a clue to what to do. Now, if I think of thirds, when I'm adding and subtracting thirds, then I, I can think of them as being similar to adding or subtracting fractions. When you add and subtract fractions, you can only add or subtract when the denominator, the number at the bottom, is the same. Okay, With thirds, they're quite similar that I can only add or subtract when the root number is the same. So that gives me a clue to try to get uh, the square number for this one. So what I could do is I could try and divide 147 by 3. And hopefully that gives me a square number. 3 into 14 will give me 4. Carry 2. 3 into 27 will give me 9. Great. So that gives me a square number. Right, so I'll simplify the first part down. Root 49, root 3, minus 5, root 3. I'll take the square root of 49, which gives me 7. And then from there, what I'll do is I'll just do the subtraction. So I've got 7 of them, and I'm going to take 5 of them away, so I'm going to be left with 2 of them. And what I'm working with is root 3s. Okay? Part B. First of all, I can see I've got to simplify this. I've got a bracketed term here, and I've already learned how to multiply out brackets. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply the brackets out. So the first thing that I do when I multiply a single bracket, I'm going to multiply the terms inside the bracket by the term outside the bracket. Right, here we go. Root 2 times root 3 will give me root 6. I've got root 2 times root 2 with the second term. And that's going to give me a plus root 4. And finally, I've got root 6 that's hanging on the end there. To simplify that down, I've got root 6 minus root 6. So these guys are going to just disappear and leave me with root 4. I can work out the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. And that's that question complete. Question 2. I'm looking at question 2 here and I have to express this here as a third in its simplest form. Okay, so again, I'm going to be looking at the same as I did up above. I'm looking for some clues. So the clue I've got here is that root 5. So if I divide each of these by 5, hopefully I'm going to get a square number coming out. Because again, I can only add or subtract when the root number is the same. Okay, let's go and do that just now. So I've got 2 root 5. I'm going to add on to that. So I know that I've got root 4 times root 5 will make root 20. Take away, that's going to be root 9 times root 5 will make 45. If I take the square roots of each of these, I'll get plus 2 root 5, minus 3 root 5 there. 2 root 5, or 2 of them, plus 2 of them gives me 4 of them. Take away 3 gives me 1 of them. What am I dealing with? Root 5s, okay? So that gives me 4 root 5, minus 3 root 5 gives me 1 root 5 left. So that would be my answer there. Okay, so I'm looking at uh, question 3. It's rationalising the denominator. Remember in maths, uh, one of the things that we will look for is to try and get rid of the roots on the bottom. And we, we have a process for doing that. Looking at the root that's on the bottom, it's root 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times the top by root 3. And I'm going to times the bottom by root 3. Okay, the reason why I'm doing that is root 3 over root 3 is just the same as 1. So I'm really just multiplying this fraction here by 1. So I'm not really changing it, although it will look a bit different. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and multiply this out. 5 root 3 all over 2 root 9. So that was the root 3 times the root 3 gives me the root 9. And the 2 is still there. Okay. From here, what I'll do is I'll uh, work out the square root of 9. So that's going to be 2 times 3. And then finally, for my final answer, I should get 5 root 3 all over 6. Okay? 
Right then, so let's see the, the marks that we've got for these first of all. So, so the marks that I'm going to gain will be the first thing I'm going to gain on question number one. I'm going to gain a mark for getting 7 root 3. That's for simplifying down the, the root 147. And the second mark is going to be for the final answer. Okay, for the next one, what I'm going to get is for one mark for multiplying out the bracket. And then the other mark for getting the answer of 2. For simplifying out both of the, the thirds, both of these thirds here, what I'm going to get is, uh, let's see, I'll go for that one there. So it's 2 root 5 and the minus 3 root 5. And finally, one mark for that answer there. So these are all two mark questions. Got a mark here for knowing to multiply by the, the root 3 over root 3. And finally, getting the answer would be the second mark. Okay. Let's look at uh, the next question, question number four. Okay, again, I've got to express this fraction with a rational denominator. And one way that we'll do that, I'll multiply by, on the top, I'm going to multiply by four plus root three. On the bottom, I'm going to multiply by four plus root three. Because that divided by that is just one again, isn't it? Right, so I'm just going to put them in brackets to make them look uh, a bit neater here. And what we call these, this is the conjugate, the conjugate thirds. And that helps us to rationalise the denominator, to get a number out of there rather than having roots. Okay, so on the top, what I've got is 5, and I've got the 4 plus root 3. Okay. That's all going to be over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this out by foil and see what I get. 4 times 4 gives me 16. That's the, the firsts. The outsides would be... 4 root 3, if I multiply these together, minus root 3 times 4 will be minus 4 root 3. And finally, at the end, I've got minus root 3 times root 3, so that would be minus root 9, okay? What I can see is that these two terms here are going to cancel out, and that's going to leave me with 5, 4 plus root 3 in the bracket, all over 16, and if I can just take the root of that, that will be... 3, the root of the 9 is the 3. Just gather that together finally, and that gives me 4 plus root 3, all over 13. And that would be my final answer there. So, marks for this one. One mark for multiplying out using uh, the 4 plus root 3. I would say getting a mark here for multiplying it out. And finally, a mark for simplifying it down. So that's going to be a three mark question for us there. Three marks. Right, question five. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a rectangle. So in rectangle ABCD, the diagonal AC is eight centimeters and the height BC is four centimeters. So let me just draw that to triangle. So I'm going to go right across at AC. So that's going to give me a diagonal. I'm going to just draw down here, which should give me a nice right angle triangle to work with because it is in a rectangle. And what I've been asked to do is to calculate the length of the rectangle and I have to give my answer as a third in its simplest form. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the answer to a, B. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem. So I'll just say that that's going to be by Pythagoras theorem. Okay. I'm going to just set up the Pythagoras theorem with uh, AB squared, is what I'm looking to calculate. And I know that uh, AB is uh, one of the shorter sides. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the longest side. I'm going to go for 8 squared, and I'm going to subtract from that the other short side. Okay. I'll just square these numbers. And that should give me an answer of 48. So I know that AB, instead of AB squared now, the square root of 48. Now I've been asked to give the answer as a third in its simplest form. So root 48 is a really common third that we come across when we're doing the work in uh, National 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify that down by using two numbers that multiply together to get 48, but uh, one of them is a square number. And the highest one that I can think of will be root 16, root 3. 
So finally, my answer for that is going to be 4 root 3. So that's part A completed. For part B, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to calculate the, the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle, okay, so area of ABC is going to be equal to a half base times height, okay? So I've got a half times the base that I've just worked out, which is 4 root 3, times the height of the triangle, which is 4. Okay. From here, a half of 4 is 2, and 2 times the 4 root 3 gives me 8 root 3. So that there will be my final answer. As far as marking is concerned on this one here, so the first thing that we're going to get is a mark for setting up Pythagoras theorem correctly. I'll get uh, one mark for finding that AB is equal to root 48, and the final mark, the third mark, for getting for root 3. For part B, the, the marks that I'm going to get here will be for substituting into the formula for the area of a triangle, and finally, for getting the, the last mark that's there. Okay, so we're on to the last question. So this is question six. Question six asks, asks us to find the length of the diagonal, AB, um, of the rectangle and leave the answer as a third in its simplest form. Right, okay. So again, what I can do is I can draw the triangle I'm interested in. So I've got AB in the rectangle, which is across to here. I've got the height, is up to here, and let's see, across to there. Okay, form a triangle. That's a right angled triangle once again. And what I also know is that uh, if that side there is 2 root 7, the side here is also going to be 2 root 7. So again, I'm going to use uh, Pythagoras theorem to, to work out this question. So by Pythagoras theorem. So to set this one up, I know that the diagonal, the side across from the right angle, is the largest side. So I'm going to say that AB squared is going to be equal to, and I just pick these sides here, so 2 root 7. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in a bracket, and I'm going to square it, plus I'm going to do 2 root 5, and again I'm going to put that in a bracket, and I'm going to square that as well. If I work this out, what I have is, uh, if I square uh, this root here, I'm going to square the 2 first of all, so that's going to be 4 times, and the square root of 7 squared is going to come out to be 7. Same over here, I've got 2 squared, which will give me 4, and root 5 squared will give me 5. So what I have here is 28 plus 20. Gather them together, 48. From, from there, what I have to do is I have to do it in the simplest form. So AB is equal to root 48. Same as above, I've got uh, root 16 times root 3. 16 times 3 gives me the, the 48. So AB is going to be equal to 4 root 3. Okay, and that's going to be that. Let's look at the, the marking for this uh, question here. So it's going to be a 4 mark question. So if I go for the 4 marks, the first uh, mark is going to come along where I'm using Pythagoras, okay? So again, setting up Pythagoras theorem correctly would be the first thing to do. I'm going to get a one mark for evaluating, uh, squaring out the, the third. I'm going to get another mark for squaring out the uh, 2 root 5 third. And finally, one mark for simplifying it down to there. So in total, for the homework, you should be working out the, the, the marks are out of 20 and um, hope this helps, so good luck.